All right, let's do another one. And this next one is another one of my new favorite animals, and it's the beaver. Now you've heard the expression, busy as a beaver. Well, there's a reason for that, because they always are busy. And I'm going to start with his hat. His what? His hat, that's right. Well, if he's a beaver and he's as busy as a beaver, let's have him wearing a hard hat, like he's working construction. Why not? You gotta give your cartoon animal some personality. And that's how you make a hard hat. A little beanie on top, and some detail down there. Now, he's got very tiny ears. And the reason why he's got tiny ears is because they close up. He's able to use muscles to close them up when he goes underwater, and the water doesn't go inside. Now, I'm gonna give him an expression with his eyebrows down, like he's a little bit angry. And you'll see why. Because he's the foreman and he's got to keep everybody on their toes. Now that's his nose, which is like a triangular shape. And let's see, let's have him yelling. And there's his tongue, and this is all darkened in. And of course, what is the best feature on a beaver? His teeth, like that. All right, and there's some whiskers. And for his head, I'm going to make this little, these furry lines here. Okay, now, let's put his arms in. Now, we're gonna have him standing up. Now, beavers don't stand up, but this is gonna be a real cartoon type beaver. And let's put in his hand here a clipboard, because he's the foreman. And these teeth. Now, he's a member of the rodent family, along with like squirrels and gophers. And the word rodent comes from the word to gnaw or chew, which is obviously what those animals like to do. Okay, now here's his chest, and he's kind of a chubby animal. So let's give him a chubby body, like that. All right, now we're going to put in his legs and feet. Now he's got webbed feet, but we're gonna just show it like this, real stylized. This is his back leg here which is seen in the distance, so we're gonna darken it just a little bit. Now his tail. Well, his tail is very interesting. It's like a pine cone that was flattened by a steamroller. It's got these ridges on it, and it's very useful. Now let's put his arm up like that. It's useful for a lot of things. Number one, they're great swimmers. They can stay underwater for like five, 10 minutes at a time, and they use that tail for like a rudder and it doesn't actually propel them. Their webbed feet do that. Their front feet kind of tuck like this, back, and the back feet are the ones that propel them, and the tail kind of acts as a rudder, goes like this and steers them. And the other thing that the tail does, which is my favorite thing, especially for a cartoonist, it makes the sound thwack. That's right, it actually slaps the water when there's danger, and it warns other beavers. Now, I'm making a tree here. swirls and some bark and that looks like a pencil because what I'm going to do is make it like it was chewed in the center like a pencil and it comes back out and does the same thing down here and here's the roots and some more swirls there and some background a great character if I say so myself and let's see let's put a caption on this guy Keep moving. After all, he is the foreman. And there you go. Great character. I'm gonna add some color to it. Some perspiration, cartoon effects and accessories. favorite animal, the beaver, along with the fox. Now, I have to confess, I, my new favorite is also the fox. And there you have it. So, 
pick up your pens and pencils, get as busy as a beaver, and start practicing cartoon animals. Now stay tuned for the feature of the day.